why we put money in sports. You are seeing the, the results. I live in Akai. I've said the inspiration of the young girls, their performance has been excellent, and showcase the role of uh, sports on the culture. So please inspire them. We are now ambassador. NCS and the government has put a lot of emphasis on grassroots uh, talent tapping. We shall mobilize the community so that the youth, people talk to their sons and children, take studies at the same time balance with sports so that we have the future uh, and Nakai. Government shall continue to improve uh, in the respect of the government Stephen, that one is clear, we are aware about it, and state recognizes, you will be recognized by the state at the late hour. So this is just a reception, the state is coming in to see you people. Even cash prizes, arrangements are being made, so uh, don't, don't Imagine that we, we have done good work for this country and we, uh, we are not being recognized. I would like to send a message to Ugandans generally. So, we like to call the sports lovers to join the fraternity in promoting sports so that we have more medalists. Corporate bodies should come in, like other, like other bodies in other countries. The corporate bodies play a very big role in promoting our sports because they have the power. They have the power to sponsor. So I would like to thank you very much that we are saying that. And uh, for the police, they have taken the IGP has said this project started in 2010. Briefly, by 2014, we also got a gold medal in World Youth Championships in Oregon, USA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for keeping our flag high. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Uh, as I said, I was entering, I was saying our project is Kiwa. Our first day, we've done it 2010. By 2014, by 2014, we're raising a medal by Joseph Jeffrey when he was the youth. And from there, we have never sat back. You are aware of what happened in the Commonwealth. Six medals for you, that for you from police. And uh, so that is for us in the police. We are embracing sports. And I, I hope and I'm very sure we shall have more medals in Tokyo in 2010. I thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much. Can you please clap for them? If I invite the, the president, uh, the team manager, I need to introduce the parents of our medalists. Okay. Uh, the parents of uh, Halima Nakai, please stand up and the media needs to see you. Abazadeva Halima, Nakai, Abazadeva Nakai. The parents of Joshua, you won last night, they are on their way. We shall meet them as we head back to Kampala. They are on our way, we shall meet them. Um, Harima represents Uganda Wildlife Authority. Can I introduce the officials from Uganda Wildlife Authority? And then, of course, from Uganda Police, he has already spoken. There is Coach Kiwa. There is. Uh, thank you so much. 
I also need to introduce the Vice President uh, Administration Uganda's Institution, Mr. Kofma, and the General Secretary Uganda's Institution, and who is a NIF Council member now. Yes. Miss Kofma, for that. And I suggest to you, we are, we are sorry media, we know you're going to cover another function, but we shall keep it short. Well, so far, the ceremony is still going on. The president of uh, the Uganda Athletics Federation, Mr. Etuchet, will be uh, having a little bit of a brief uh, with the press. Now, there are two functions that are supposed to be going on today. Uh, this one is the first one, and of course, it's the, uh, the arrival of our athletes who perform very well in uh, the World Championships. Like you see on the camera over there, the two champions, Nakari, uh, together with Cheptege, all standing over there. Then there is another function uh, where we have uh, the two brand new Bernadias arriving in very soon. But this function that we are covering right now is uh, the function of uh, the medalists that arrived in uh, the country. Uh, that is uh, Nakai together with, uh, of course, Chapter Gay. Now, if you go down and look at the statistics, uh, Chapter Gay is only lacking. Uh, that is an Olympics medal to actually be crowned one of uh, the uh, most decorated athletes in Uganda because currently he has managed to win a world championship, which is very good. Uh, he has also done very, very well at uh, the Olympics where he managed to win a silver medal coming second to Mufara. Uh, that was uh, in 2017. As per now, uh, he's still just lacking that gold medal in the Olympics. But let's actually go down again uh, to uh, the president of uh, the athletes and hear what he says. They all did their best while in Doha. I'm going to be brief but also exhaustive. To begin with, it's my pleasure to congratulate Halima Nakai for this huge breakthrough, winning a gold medal in the World Championship. She opened the way while we are in Doha. Halima, we congratulate you so much. The parents of Halima, this is a world champion. Thank you. She's not the little daughter you had before. She's now different. Only one man in you. Amen. Banang, it's only one man in you. Amen. Let us clap for Alina. May I also congratulate in a special way Joshua Cheptege for giving us the second and well treasured gold medal also in Doha. Can we give him a hand clap? Joshua, K. Toboni is shed. You have done us proud. It's the first time ever for Uganda to win two gold medals in a world championship. This is our best performance ever. I'm glad for this. Previously, we have been coming back with a lone medal, whether it's gold or any other. There had been one. But this time round, two gold medals. It was beautiful. And I want to thank everybody who contributed towards this achievement. My thanks go to the government, right from the first family, the National Council of Sports, and all the government arms that supported the team. The government gave us money to prepare this team before we went and we appreciate government because we prepared the team well government also facilitated us to take the team out so thank you government I want to thank in a special way the parents the parents of all our athletes particularly the parents of Halima and Joshua but the parents of all our athletes here it takes a huge sacrifice you know, some people think when the child goes to sport, that child has lost out. But you can see the achievement somebody can get from sports. So let us give a hand clap to the parents who are represented here. I want to thank colleagues from Uganda Athletics Federation. We work as a team. People play 
different roles but complementary roles. Some of them even sacrifice. They work almost for nothing. And this, this has given us these achievements. The coaches. The coaches who handle these athletes in Uganda are unsung heroes. People think the athletes win from the blue. But I want to thank the coaches. What is also true in athletics is that at various stages you may find one athlete has been handled by two or three or even four coaches. But I want us to thank all of them collectively. <laughs> and when we go to the other function, I will crusade for the coaches that they should be recognized in a special way, even by government. You can clap for that. I think it is important, I am here with the gold medalists, but I will also introduce the other athletes. But before I do that, let me thank the clubs that have given us athletes, very many clubs, but for now, those who have excelled, we have been told, Joshua from the police force, can we clap for the police force? And I want to thank them for giving him that rank and I believe now he's even ripe enough for additions to those ranks that he was given. <laughs> Let us clap for Uwa. They've given us excellent athletes and Halima is one of them. And I believe now Uwa will also give ranks to their athletes, Halima being one of them. We can clap for that. You have been told the contingent was fairly balanced. 20, uh, 21 in total were 11 men and 10 women. I will start to decide. You can stand Lenny Shida, 400 meters. Chebet Line Torotich, Marathon. Winnie Nanyondo, she was with this one. In 800 and 15. She is the only she's the only athlete that did two events in Doha. Remain standing. And if you watch the race, part of the reason that Halima won is also Winnie. Let us thank Winnie. We have Chebet Rachel Zena, 10,000 meters. Sarah Chelangat, 5,000 meters. Siko Abel, 3,000 meters, Tipo Chess. Esther Chebet, 1,5. Perus Chemtai, 3,000 meters, Tipo Chess. Solomon Mutai, Marathon. Albert Chemtai, 3,000 meters people chase. Fred Musovo Marathon. And I was there with the coaches. Oh, we have been Okay, there are those who have stepped out to uh, pick up our. We have uh, Stephen Kiprotich, whom we know very well. He was there in the Marathon. Jul uh, Kipla got Benjamin 3,000 meters steeple chase and Juliet Chequel 10,000 meters and Ronald Musagala 1,5 and, and then we also had Mande Abdallah in 10,000 meters he was the one you saw facing for Joshua and we had Chisa Steven Chisa Steven 5,000 meters uh, Chesang Stella 10,000 meters the coaches we had there, we had coach Abdallah Muhammad. They did a very good job there with coach, veteran coach Benjamin Longiros. We also had the Chelimo Oscar, who was also one of the steeple chasers, 3,000 meters.
I think I've introduced all. Abel Sikowo, I think I introduced him. So these are the 21 Ugandans that qualified and represented us out of our number of over 40 million. You know, it is not easy. In the past, we used to have no qualifier. And our numbers have kept growing. This time, 21. And I also believe preparing for Tokyo 2020, the numbers we are looking at should also be in excess of 21. There will be more than 21. And it's the clubs, it's the coaches, it is these athletes who commit themselves to achieving this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I told you I'll, I'll be brief for now. But I want to recognize, though the MC did so, my General Secretary, Beatrice Aikoru. Beatrice Aikoru, to us, gave us the first gold medal there because it was the first time in the history of our sport for us to have a council member in the IWF council. And there were only two elected from Africa, and Beatrice was one of them. Can we clap for her? So she's here, Beatrice. Let us appreciate her. That was her first victory. She opened the way, and uh, we are very proud of her. And we know many good things will come our way. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing I want to say here for Ugandans to hear is that our athletes have done well. But well, if they have done well, for us, they are not a finished article. They are going to begin preparing for other events. You know, celebrities in other areas, once they have achieved, like the music industry, once they have achieved, they have arrived. These ones are still on a journey. So I know you'll want them to officiate in your events. But be conscious that they still have competitions. So if we say no when you want them, please understand. We shall release them to you because Ugandans also need them, especially during their off-season. But while the season is going on, let us allow them to prepare for further events. In this way, we shall continue to excel. So ladies and gentlemen, we are all excited. Congratulations, our athletes. Congratulations, UF. Congratulations, NCS. Congratulations, all the clubs. Congratulations, the parents. Congratulations, Ugandans. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you so much, President. We'll have Harima talk to us. And then after, we'll have Joshua to talk to us. You are tired. Today you can talk while sitting. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. Yes. You are not a commoner now. Okay. <laughs> you are a world champion. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. God is good. All the time. Okay. National Council of Sports, UOC, Uganda Athletics Federation, our parents around, our beloved coaches, the media people, ladies and gentlemen. Let me take this wonderful opportunity to thank you for this well welcome. And I'm very glad that uh, we got medals for our team. This is a teamwork medal. It has been a long-term preparation. There is a big team who have contributed towards winning this medal. So please, we've been working so hard. Uh, I've been together with Winnie, Musaga Ronald, Abmayanja, and other people for over 10 years. Even we decided to rent our specific house to make it our camp so that we could focus on training. Our mission was to show people that even people in Central Park, we can make it. So I'm so grateful that 
I, I, we have a gold medal. It's, it's, it's not only mine, but it's all ladies who are over there. Ladies, we can do it something great. So we shouldn't sit on our souls. We can do something. And Ugandans, we have the potential. Only that, for sure, we really need your support. We pass through a lot of temptations as ladies. And you know, ladies, our career is too short. So please, we really need your support, but I thank Uganda Life Authority. They gave us support, the government, the Uganda Federation, National Council, at least we can access competitions. You know, the more we compete, we gain confidence. Those ones who have been monitoring, who've been competing in Diamond Leagues, Global Sports Communication has been facilitating us. It has been developing our confidence. But it's, it's not one day success. It has been, we've been preparing for over 10 years. So please, I'm so grateful that you've welcomed us warmly. But everyone can do it. The future is today. And you can change your life through being hardworking. I thank my sister Winnie. Maybe without her, I would have not reached this success. But we always wish good for one another and even for our country. Even I conduct my daily prayers, but still we, we hold our hands together and we do pray. Because there's a certain situation, we do our training perfectly. Then we, we declare that, God, we've done everything. Now we've left these competitions into your hands. I thank God made that day colorful. Thanks to the Uganda Athletics Federation that you gave us the opportunities to show our talents. I thank my parents because it's a sacrifice. We take even a full year minus going home because we have a mission to fulfill. So please, everyone can do it. Coach Rafael, you were there for us since when we were small. Those ones who have been monitoring, I started, I joined the national team when I was 13 years. And I've been winning medals in youth where, so with hard work, things are possible. So I, I thank everyone who's around. Thank you very much. Those are my words. Thank you so much. Your confidence is <laughs> Observed. Ladies and gentlemen, I know much has been said by uh, my colleague Halima. I don't want to make uh, this time to be a time of, of speeches when so many things have been said. At this moment, I really want to uh, uh, convey uh, my sincere appreciation to, of course, the team, of course, the coaches who have been there with us, uh, our managers, of course. Uganda Athletics Federation for the support, National Council and Government. I also take this opportunity to thank uh, Uganda Police Force, of course, for the opportunities and support. Uh, in a special way, I want to thank uh, Vande Sorowen for the continued support. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Vande here has been at the forefront of supporting uh, athletics uh, from way back with Coach Kiwa. Coach Kua was uh, the one who was uh, supporting me from my childhood, uh, from uh, Akela from the university. That is like six years ago, so I'm really grateful for support. I thank uh, Mr. Stephen Kiprotich, uh, my role model, of course. He inspires me a lot. And I say it's the reason that, that I'm still also uh, pursuing this uh, career, and uh, I'm really grateful for it. Thank you, media, for uh, reporting uh, possibly, and uh, we hope that uh, you continue the same way. I think I have no, 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 not so many words. I really want to thank uh, <laughs> my parents. I thank the president, of course, and 
Thank you, guys. The champions don't talk much. The Yorkshire do work and the work is visible. So mm. thank you so much. You did what you did last night and the whole country Excellent. watched. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have questions? We'll take three questions at a go and then we shall respond. Yes, Senyang. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Just a few more congratulations to the team and everybody else for Halima and Darwini and the team. and all the team. Uh, before my question, I would like to say it's, it's been a very good thing to see these two girls work together. For those that have covered them before, probably five or seven years before, you know where they've come from, you know where when you watch them at Nambole and you kind of think about them but I think she has made it and really thank you very much for the chance to allow uh, Halima to you know, to my question goes to the two of you, uh, but first, Joshua, Joshua, could this have been an easier race for you uh, in 2019 than it probably would have been in 2016? Yes. And uh, for Halima, you may have said that Nanyunga has pushed you in all of this. Um, do we see you pushing much, much more uh, uh, in the 800 meters? Because definitely it was a tight race, a very, very tight race. Could have been lost and it could be one two stops in the line. Do you think there's a lot of work to be put in to ensure that the keep on the success and pretty much the as well? Okay, thank you. Another question? Oh, maybe my first answer. I'm taking three and go. Another question? Okay. Let, let him. Senator, it's not a question per se, but uh, for people in Bulemes and uh, Chalondo, we'd like to hear from uh, we shall do the short way later. Maybe the parents. We shall do the short way later. In the meantime, uh, thank you, Senyang, for appreciating. Joshua, was it an easier race in the walkover or it was hard work? Uh, you know, uh, like most of you guys have been seeing the training that we have been doing and uh, most of the media have been covering, of course, uh, what we do in uh, training is really uh, so difficult. You know, uh, when you go to a race, it's just uh, trying to execute what you have been doing in the previous months and the previous years and, of course, of hard work. And uh, I would say that uh, the race has not been really easy. It, is, it has been really so difficult. If you are watching, you would see a point whereby uh, I was almost giving up, but... Uh, I become strong in the mind and I say, if, it, if there's a moment that I have to do it, it is today. So everything is really possible, but uh, it takes the hard way out. Thank you, guys. I beg your pardon, say it again. Do you think there is much more to do or you have arrived? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just saying to you. Fine, there is a sign of achievement, but it's not the end of, of everything. Being number one in 800, that means I have to work more harder and more. Because this medal will always inspire us to, wo to wake up early in the morning and we go for training. Mr. Senyang, I think several times we've been meeting you when we are doing our roadworks. In Seta, moreover, I come from Boyogera and we meet you in Seta, deep in the village. So already it shows that there is a sign of hard working. So since there is a team behind this success, I know we are going to stay focused and more better things they will come out. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, in case there are no more questions. We'll ask that you have a one on one on one. Yes, the athletes. The Uganda version you can have it on the one on one. Almost all of us have one. Thank you. We give the media. Would you want to do it? Let me bring. Let me bring.
Well, there you go. That's uh, the press conference uh, here at uh, the VIP lounge as uh, the two world champions have actually come through uh, to, of course, uh, grace us with their presence. Let me go down to the picture. And, of course, first and foremost, we shall be discussing with Nakai here and find out her view about uh, how everything actually went down at the just-concluded world championship. So this is Halima Nakai. Uh, welcome to UBC. The whole country and entire world is watching you right now. First and foremost, how do you feel so far that you are a world champion? I, I feel so grateful. I thank the almighty God for this success. I thank my teammates, coaches, and Uganda at, at large for always supporting us. It's a pleasure to be a world champion. It's really not an easy task. Well, I, I love your message, uh, most especially uh, the part of the ladies, where you're actually speaking more about the ladies. Is this the new Halima Nakai that everybody should be talking about? Yeah, for sure, because ladies, we tend to sit on our souls, of which we have the potential. To, to change the world. You have the potential to succeed in life. Mm -hmm. So with hard work mm -hmm. and believing in God, things are possible. So ladies, we can do it. Yeah. All right. Let me, let me ask you my last question. And uh, a lot has actually been spoken about uh, the absence of uh, Semenya. Were you glad when you didn't see Semenya on the lineup? Or were you ready to take on Semenya if she was there? Me, I always focus on my competitors who are on ground because generations, they keep on changing. Yeah. So I don't focus on Semenya. I focus on my competitors on ground. All right. Yeah. Any message to the Buganda ladies who are watching right now? Because this, this medal is for Buganda and Uganda. Okay, in Uganda. Okay. Banai Abaganda Bonna. Ninesa nyuri ya amanyi, awamu timu yonane Uganda, chiomdari kwa gold guli mu Uganda. Ela chitwe yo ongele wukokiliza mte abaganda tulinevi tone. Tweme kwetu lako, tusobola, tuerua neko. Aweva mache mbeda ibanga nzibu nyo, tusobolo chusobola mbona. So tukole na amanyi, ebi ntubisoboka. Halima, webali nyo. Webali. That is Halima there, and of course, uh, let me change my focus right now to the other side. Other people, it, people. There are other people coming. Yeah, that's a very, very quick one. Yeah, let me actually steal chapter gay. Joshua, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. This is the second time that I'm actually interviewing you, and uh, how do you feel that you're a world champion in the 10,000? Yeah, it's really a proud moment for me, of course, to become a world champion, especially in a special year that I won a cross country. Yeah. And uh, it's been really a tough year for me. Yes. Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, the absence of Mufara, uh, I think, gave you a very, very big push. Everyone is still talking about uh, the, uh, the, the Olympics there, where you actually almost came closer to him. Your thoughts about the absence of Mufara vis-a-vis -vis you winning the uh, world championship? I think uh, even uh, 2017, if I was really uh, strong in the mind, I think I would have also won the, the race in 2017. Mm. I learned a lot of uh, things after the race, and I, 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 I really, uh, it was sure for sure, the, the, gold was, the gold was realistic uh, in London, of course, but uh, the timing of the, the 400 meters was really not uh, perfect for me. Joshua, unfortunately, we have to go and receive other two gold medals that are arriving today. That is the new Bombardiers, so thank you very much for this. Uh, Can I say, I've actually touched the world medal. Thank you very much. Well, there we have it. Of course, Joshua, together with Halima, making the country very proud. But also, we are going down to another function where the country is also going to feel very, very proud. This area has to be taken up, and we are going to be welcoming the new bombardiers that are actually arriving into the country in just uh, a few minutes' time. So I'll be linking up with uh, the man himself, uh, that is Luko Mwa, who is actually getting ready, by the way, to welcome the new bombardiers. So let me leave you with a feel of the athletes right here. Then we shall be linking up in just a few minutes as we welcome the bombardiers. Yeah, so let me leave you with these pictures.